What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Supercars of Westchester and welcome back to another C8 Z06 video where we have actual footage of the new C8 Z06 driving and it sounds amazing. In just a second, I will be showing you guys the video of the new C8 Z06 driving. It is a very short video, so we can play it over a few times here. And then we can go over some more details I have noticed on the new images as well. Take a look at the video and let me know what you guys think. Now a few things to point out here that I noticed is first of all, of course, the sound. I recently posted a video that was a compilation of several different C8s driving around and revving the engines which you can hear very well. The link to that video is right here. And I bring this up because if you watch that video and then come back and watch this one, you can really hear the difference between the Stingray and the Z06 engine with that flat plane crank. This Z06 sounds amazing. It has more of that high pitched supercar sound I've been wanting to hear come out of a Corvette for some time now. Recently Car and Driver stated that quote, we expect that the Z06 will be powered by a naturally aspirated 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8 that produces around 600 horsepower, end quote. Now there is no confirmation of this yet while others tend to believe it to be a twin turbo setup as opposed to being naturally aspirated. As I listen to this video over and over, it is difficult to hear any of those winding noises that come from the turbos as it drives by. So I'm leaning towards this to be a naturally aspirated engine, but then again, I am no expert, so this is just my opinion and may not be the actual case. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below based on the sound that this car is making compared to the ones in my compilation video. Just listen to those downshifts as it's going around the turn, it sounds so good. Some other things to point out here come from these photos that were taken. The first major thing I noticed was the absence of that large rear wing that was recently confirmed by GM. If you haven't seen my last video on the rear wing, you can check that out right here about GM confirming that the Z06 will be sporting a massive rear wing that is even larger than the C7 ZR1 rear wing. If this rear wing is going to be supposedly standard on the Z06 and is a major contributor to its upgraded performance, then I find it a little weird to be testing the car without it. Another very strange thing we have not seen before is covering over the wheels. We all remember all those C8 Stingrays driving around before it was unveiled in July, and none of those ever had any type of camo or covering over the wheels, so this stood out to me. There could be several different reasons for this. One being to simply just hide the styling of the wheels as to keep that element of surprise. Another to hide a new carbon ceramic upgrade from the Stingray models, maybe sporting larger calipers as well. Another option is maybe some carbon fiber wheel options like Ford made available for the 2020 Mustang GT500. Like I said, there could be several different reasons for this, but I am curious to find out what you guys think. The next thing here is the definitive large side air intakes. These are clearly larger and more aggressive than the ones on the Stingray, which we all kind of figured they would do and is really cool to see. I'm excited to see how close these will resemble than that of the C8R when the camo comes off. If we look at this photo here, it looks to me that the car is also much lower than the C8 Stingray. Looking at the wheel gap here, it seems like there will likely be some suspension upgrades, which again we would expect, but this looks awesome to see the car driving around like this and gives it a more aggressive look. Coming back to this photo here, there are two more things to point out. The first being the side skirts, covered in camo but definitely still visible. I am sure this car will be coming with some type of upgraded aero package as stated in my previous video. Some of the components were more visible on the front end in those photos, and in this photo the side skirts seem to stand out more. The last thing would be the exhaust system. I was really hoping for that center exit exhaust setup, and it doesn't seem to be the case here. Although it's difficult to see, they seem to be in the same position as the Stingray's exhaust, and even possibly the same squarish shape that I'm not a big fan of. But it's difficult to make out here in these photos. Well guys, I'll leave you here with that video one more time, 
so you can listen to that amazing sound of the new C8 Z06. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to see the latest videos as they are released. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, right.